Today, the country witnessed a call for violence given by the former president of the Congress party, Sri Rahul Gandhi. Exploring the fact, enunciating that he has 15 years of political experience, Mr. Gandhi gave a clarion call for violence across various cities, so much so that he included slums where the poor of our country live. Never before in our democratic history have we witnessed a political leader asking for the fire of violence to spread instead of seeking peace instead of promoting peace. Mr. Gandhi today declared war upon the Indian people and said that if his political stand is not supported by the Prime Minister of our country, then cities will burn. As a member of the Bharatiya Janata Party, as a citizen of this country, I appeal to every Indian citizen to ensure that Rahul Gandhi's call for violence is met with sustained peace, that Rahul Gandhi's intentions to politically benefit from strife is defeated. What is shocking yet, but expected of Mr. Gandhi, is that over 300 police personnel of the Delhi police who were badly injured did not receive one word of support or consolation from Mr. Gandhi. There were new, numerous media personnel who were hurt on the 26th of January and the violence that was witnessed by the country at large. Not a word was spoken by Mr. Gandhi in protest against the behavior meted out to female police personnel or those police personnel and media personnel upon whom attacks were undertaken. I reiterate that though Rahul Gandhi will call for violence, we as citizens of India seek your support to ensure peace Rahul Gandhi is insistent on creating political strife, but we know that the citizens of India under one flag will ensure that law and order is maintained in our country.